Hello everybody and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I am the Mullah of Iran and today we revenge. We revenge from the American. We promise you we will kill a lot of American. And we killed not even a chicken. Hmm. You know, uh, what happened today is really amazing and so funny. Uh, what I just get the news is that the Iranian they send letters and uh, let us say uh, postcards saying to the American and the Iranian and sorry the Iraqi please stay away from this area because we are going to shoot at it <laughs> this is why nobody get injured <laughs> they send messages to Qatar they send messages to Turkey they send messages to uh, 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 to, to to the Iraqi defense, and they told them to tell the American to stay away from this area because we are going to seek revenge. I mean, have you ever heard of a comedy like this? And all of this because they want to tell their people that we seek revenge. You see what we did? Did you see how many missiles we shot? And we did not kill even a goat and actually you know i was thinking about it i mean how in the world those people they shot like 21 missiles whatever i mean not even a chicken got killed not, not like not even somebody he broke his uh, uh, like his nail <laughs> I mean, so they told everybody we are going to attack you and where and the location and even they give them the, the, the attitude like where, where the you know where, where the, the exact location is going to be and they told them please 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 tell Mr. Trump to take all his soldiers away <laughs> this is why Trump he went today in a very I mean this guy he, uh, he like what he's missing to say thank you Iran if you notice Trump almost saying thank you <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they told them because because now yeah this is true this is what I'm not I'm not making things up so uh, 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 Trump really appreciate the Iranian government giving him an advance to tell him that we are going to hit here and this is the hour and this is the time so they have all the base empty there is only like uh, Iraqi let us say the guards for the defense of the gate but there's nobody there the, the whole the whole base is empty there's no Iraqi there's nobody except the guards uh, and they told them exactly what building they will hit you know uh, so this is why there is nobody injured I mean this is a base full of soldiers how in the world you hit it and there's nobody get injured no Iraqi no American nobody not even a goat inside that so what happened simply they told the the, the, uh, the uh, foreign minister of Qatar they told the prince of Qatar they told the defense minister of uh, uh, Iraq and they told Erdogan, the NATO, that we are going to hit at this moment, at this time, and this location. Please take your soldier away. And the whole idea of this, they want to tell their people, this is supposedly nobody will know about it. So in the front of the Iranian people, they will say, see, we are the Islamic government of Iran. We do not bow down to anyone. We will attack them. We will seek revenge. And now, not only that, the Iranian government, they announced, they told all those who they are their friends not to attack the American. Never attack them. So, obviously, it's something fishy and look like they are negotiating something, you know. So, the <laughs> so all of this is what? Let us say, Trump, you know, we have to do something. So, please, uh, take your soldiers away. We will hit this area. We will make a big noise about it and a lot of farting. And then everybody uh, will say Iran did something. And now they became, they became the joke of everybody. Everybody is laughing at them. I mean, what kind of attack? And, and why you stop? I mean, if you are seeking revenge, well, you did not do the revenge. Nobody die. Nobody die. Nobody. Not even, not, not even a chicken. They are not shooting bullets, they are shooting missiles. And nobody die. Simply because it was a very funny comedy, stupid comedy. It's a show time. The Iranian, they want to show their people that they are, we are not going to uh, let this uh, go without uh, penalty. And they told them in Iran, by the way, they told the Iranian, 80 American soldiers die. 80. 
Do you think if the theocracy of Iran fall, well, you know, the, the Iranian government almost, you know, they are feeling down. And actually, it's for their benefit to negotiate with the, with, with the Obama, sorry, for with the Trump, uh, because, uh, I mean, the sanctions is killing them. And this guy is planning to put more sanctions now. You see, he did not attack them, yes, but the sanctions are coming. This guy, he will make them not to breathe. Uh, so, so what, what, uh, what is going to happen next? You know, Trump is very, you know, he's a wise man. You know, someone else maybe he jump into like, let us do, you know, let us hit them and blah 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 blah. He can do that, but that will not be too much effective. Why would I do that? I mean, just make them pay silence. You know, with the mute. The only prophet after Jesus Christ is Arabian prophet. No, my friend, I'm no prophet. I am not a priest. I'm no one. My name is nobody. There's a movie, by the way, it's called My Name is Nobody. <laughs> I'm not a prophet. I am not a priest. I am not even a good person, you know, because a good person is someone he really follow the steps of Christ in like in the in the in the full. Can I say that? No. Like, uh, am I like uh, Peter or uh, no, you know, so don't uh, please give me those titles which I don't deserve. I'm no one. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Actually, when I was a kid, I used to watch uh, what his name, Bud Spencer, the Bud Spencer and Tron Sale. They are funny, you know, for, it, it, their movie is good for kids. So I was a kid. I used to watch it and laugh. <clears throat> Yeah, um, because your graphic came to the past about the Iranian. Oh, because I, you know, okay, but, but this is not a prophet. This is not about prophecy. This is analyzing information. You know, using your brain. You know, this is not a prophet. You know, I, you see, uh, these days there is many people they claim to be prophets, and obviously it's a fraud. You know, I don't need a prophet after the Messiah. Actually, well, why you want to prophesy for me? Like I understand, the disciple of Jesus, they've been sent, and they have a mission. So the Lord He provide them with the, with the, with the inspiration and revelation. But after that, I mean, why you why God will reveal anything to me? Who am I? What for? I mean, what what we need more? Uh, uh, those who claim to be a prophet, they are doing business. You know, it's a great business. Uh, well, I did not. This is not a nickname, by the way. I just I, I named the account that YouTube. This is not the name I use. I never nobody called me Arabian prophet, but this is just an account I use for YouTube, and you know, I just chosen this name uh, because there's too many Christian prints, and people if they search for my videos, they cannot find my videos. It's endless. I mean, there is maybe a million channels have my videos but how you can find where is where is the real Christian prince where he's talking just making a joke oh, okay yeah be careful because somebody will see it and will think that's your you mean it how do you like Trump talk you know I felt like he was too much soft because the Iranian told him uh, in advance about what they, so he was very soft with them he should not be soft uh, but anyway, you know, he's a president. He have more information than what we have. And all the decisions is made based on information, which we don't have. You see, for us, we are just, uh, we receive information from media, TV stations, etc., which most of it is false. Uh, for them, the story is different. They have source on the ground. They have satellites. They have, so they have a resource which we don't have to make decisions. Do you support uh, China? My friend, China, first of all, they are not against the Muslims, they are against the Christians. You know, there is many misleading information about China. You know, they tell you there's a one million prisoner from China, they are Muslims, this is a big fat lie. So, let us make it simple. Trump, he speak about the Uyghur. Why? Because he want to show that he is not defending the Christians. Here we go, I'm defending the Muslims. Just yesterday, they made that law against the Christian specifically, you know, because the Christianity is growing so fast. The Ugor or Ogor, whatever you call them, 
they launched many terrorist attacks in China. Last time I went to the Forbidden City, they have anyone, I don't know if any of you have been there, I have a video of it. Uh, they put long, long line of like a uh, you know solid columns, steel and concrete. Why? Because the Uyghur they drive the same as they do in the Christmas uh, market in Germany and in France and etc. They bring a big truck and they and they go over over everybody. So and they slaughter and they kill and they attack by knives. And then when the Chinese put them in jail, they speak about China as being bad. Like those people there, they are talking about, they are not like the peaceful Christians who they are attacking nobody and the Chinese are being aggressive with them. No. Actually, the biggest aggressive brigade in ISIS and Al-Qaeda right now in Syria is those Chinese Muslims. You can go and search it right now. Well, a Democrat are Democrat, what you can say. Democrat, they are always left. This is why they call them left. We go right, they go left. <laughs> you know, it's a it's an illness. Every every country have an illness part of it, and you know, America is infected with this illness. What you can do? Uh, <clears throat> somebody speaking in uh, uh, Indonesian language. I the only I, I forgot. You know, I forgot the Indonesian. CB is it right? The law of Sharia is sometimes useful because the person who are getting punishment will learn from it. That's not true. You see, I will give you an example. They cut your hand if you are a thief in Saudi Arabia, right? But the thief's numbers is increasing. They will they will they will whip you if you are doing adultery, but nobody do adultery as they do. So those penalty they never stop anything. Penalty it should be exist as a penalty. But first of all there's a penalty should be smart. As an example, Muhammad he said, if you cut, if you steal an egg, we cut your hand. Okay, well, isn't it obvious that the guy who stole an egg, he is hungry, he is not really a thief. I mean, a thief he will not steal an egg, he will steal a camel, right? Somebody steal an egg or a little rope, we cut his hand. Okay, so so now we cut his hand, and what he will do after that? He cannot work. You cut his hand, he will be a thief again. So. There is there is a penalty and there's a stupid penalty. Islam provides a stupid penalty. Not only that, as an example, just to show you the stupidity of Islam. Uh, if I if I sleep with somebody's wife, or you sleep with the wife of somebody, or somebody sleep with my wife, so nobody will be offended. I don't have a wife anyway. And he made her have a child. The one who is sleeping with your wife, he made her have a child. Do you know according to Islam? The child is the son of the husband, not the son of the real father. I mean, what is justice here? So now you are married to a woman who is sleeping around and she gave you a baby. And you know that this baby is not yours, but Islam will force you to give the baby your name and he will inherit you. So if somebody is angry from you, he goes sleep with your wife. Then she will have a baby, and this is his son, and his son, then he will inherit the money of you, and later he will give it to his dad. <laughs> hey, daddy, uh, the guy you slept with his wife, which is my mom, uh, daddy, uh, I uh, you know, I became his son legally, and I will inherit all his money. <laughs> later I will buy a TV for you, okay? Well, what kind of, what kind of religion this religion is? Madness, stupidity. Uh, heard of uh, Q and noon? I don't know what is a Q and noon. I know what the Q, you know, like because always I use a Q. Don't you see? Like I say, barbecue, barbecue. <clears throat> yeah, that that that's it's not called unfair. That's called stupid, because now not only you have to uh, uh, give your name and your inheritance and your money to the son of the one who your wife was cheating with. Not only that, you know, the problem is bigger because you know he is not son, your son. He knew that he is not your father. He knew he is his father, and now he will be loyal to the one, uh, uh, you know, he slept with the woman. You are voting for Obama again? Okay, <laughs> sound like an Arab. Are you from my? Are, are you one of my cousins, King Kong? <laughs> 
Do you watch Ben Shapiro? No, I don't know who is this. I never heard of him. Hey, Mr. Zuryak, how are you? Zuryak from Malaysia, how are you, my friend? God bless you. Yeah, you know, actually, uh, when you see president, you think those people, they are like something intelligent, smart. Look at this woman, Pelusi. Even her name is weird. What Pelusi mean? Man, I mean, this woman, the second she talk, she's like a frog. Work, 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 work. And she say the most ugly, stupid things, and nobody knows what exactly they want. I mean, have you ever heard? In the time your army is under attack, you go in public right away in the same moment and you see we will not let Trump attack back which means they are training the enemy attack us attack our soldiers don't worry we will not let him attack you and not only that they are now asking to make a special rules or law they will vote for it so Trump he cannot attack and this is why the Iranian they are like uh, they are brave now because they knew that Trump he is limited you know he don't have a power stupidity you know this is not about traitor they are stupidity you know stupid 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 does not have a god religion skin uh, ethnic uh, you know stupidity is everywhere you know? yeah well i hope he will win the coming election and then he will be free for the year uh, you know you see iran should be worried about the four coming years after he get elected again because then he will not be worried and then if he won the election that's mean he will won the congress too and you know the i believe that the republican they made a big mistake because in the first two years they were in control they did not take advantage of that <clears throat> uh, if he does not keep the baby from the other man then they will need to abort no no it's not up to you not to keep the baby that's it this is islam you cannot you cannot say this is your son so your wife she slept with somebody else and you know you know i can show you the uh, i can show you the hadith you know we, we don't make things up my friend uh, if you go in the hadith the hadith says it clearly that uh, the adulteress is for the stoning and that the baby is for the bed Let us see the hadith. I'm typing in English, you believe it. All right, ah, we could not get this one here. Let us see uh, if we can get it in English. Because they don't like to say things and you know you know they will say he's I mean we show the proof and then they say he's lying you know let us see this one here here we go the prophet said the boy is for the honor of the bed not the real father do you see it do you see this is Sahih Bukhari so if you are married and your wife she sleep with ten men and all the kids you have none of them is your son according to Islam those kids are yours even if you know they are not you on the bed <laughs> you have the honor <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> uh, 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 too much hashish this man Muhammad he was taking too much hashish I mean, who in the world would accept? You see, I don't like if a man, he accept the baby based on love. That's good. But here, you know the danger. Let me tell you how dangerous this is. Okay, I will, I will make a scenario for you. What if somebody, and you are talking about Arabian, you know, Arabian, they are very aggressive and they take revenge. You know, they don't forgive. So his wife, she did cheat on him. She slept with the neighbor. And then his wife, she gave a baby girl baby what girl what this father can do to her she is not his daughter correct 
she will have his last name yes but legally you know I mean by blood she is not his daughter he can rape her he can beat her he can humiliate her just to get revenge from her father the one who slept with her you know with, with his wife you know what I mean are you getting the point so what kind of logic this is so you leave the child with the one who was hurt by the father of the child he might do he might you know first she is not his daughter she is not she have nothing to do with him she is not relative she is not his daughter she is not his niece she is not his cousin madness There's a background noise coming. Uh, this is, uh, a, yeah, you know, you see, uh, <clears throat> uh, I want to tell you a secret, but don't tell anyone. I live in the space now. So, you know, my spaceship, uh, from time to time, we have to change, uh, to charge the battery. You see, because Allah, he sent to take me. And this time he said to me, you know what? I'm not going to send the, the, the white donkey, al Burak. And uh, I told him why Allah? He said Al Burak he broke his uh, foot because he was doing hiking. Uh, I said to him where he was hiking. Uh, he said uh, somebody he's an English person. He told him take a hike. This is a true story, you know. Uh, so Allah he told me uh, you know like uh, I will send you a spaceship made by uh, the American Kuffar, and uh, you know you ride it. So now right now. <laughs> Look at this hadith here. I just I picked I picked up this one for you. I mean, look at this story, man. Muhammad he just landed in the airport of Jerusalem, the holy house, and Jibril he pointed his finger at the wall and he made a hole in it so he can tie up Al Burak. Do you see it? Now hold on. Al Burak he came by himself from Allah from the seven galaxies behind the seven seas and he was guided with no GPS and he did not run so why now you want to tie him up <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> you want to tie him up the, the guy he came alone from behind the galaxies behind the black hole the yellow hole whatever you call them and now you want to tie him up why he will run away or what so look Muhammad so Jibreel the brother he put his finger in the wall I'm so glad he did not put it in his <clears throat> I mean his nose so he put it in the wall and he made a hole and he tied up the donkey to the hole I mean this is science my friend science and reality this is nothing but science and reality you like it or not it's true I mean how you how you can refuse to believe that Prophet Muhammad is a Prophet Muhammad what's wrong with you Hmm? Let's see why you guys you hear noise. Uh, mm, mm, now I see why you hear noise. Uh -huh. Because there's noise. <laughs> Jibreel just told me. You know? <clears throat> yeah, just just a real uh, Jibreel he just informed me, brother. I asked him why there is uh, why they are hearing a noise. He said because there is noise. I mean, genius. Man. It is not sahih. What do you mean not sahih? What do you mean? Uh, you mean the hadith is not sahih? Ah, my friend, no, it is. It is. You see, even those what they say here, this is not true. This is additional because this is Jami Tirmidhi, and this book is book of the sahih. There are six writers of sahih, authentic. So it is sahih. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, no, Jibril is afraid of a dog. I mean, have you ever heard of an angel? He cannot enter a house because of a puppy. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. To Abdul dislike the video? Well, I'm, um, you know, I mean, if you're afraid to dislike it, Abdul. And the other day I received a message from YouTube saying before I started go live on air 
YouTube they send me you will get many flags against your video which you did not start yet live I mean those people they are flagging me before I go live that's why YouTube did not I mean they laugh at it because uh, obviously I did not say anything yet I mean how you can flag a video the guy did not even talk yet the title have nothing wrong with it and they are flagging my video unbelievable they love me actually I think all the Abdul every day they sing for me we love you we do love you we love you we do love you every day the first thing uh, those uh, you know especially those who make videos against me they wake up in the morning brother and they say uh, we love you yes we love you we love you yes we love you USA no Iranian missiles were coming ahead of a strike <laughs> I mean look at this war man hey guys uh, <laughs> Hey brother, I'm going to shoot at you at this time. Please stay away, okay? <laughs> man, oh man. Hey, they love me very much, very much. But really, I love them. I don't hate them. They are feel sorry for them. Um, yeah, I feel sorry for them. You love me? Really? Okay. I don't know. I did not hear anyone saying "I love you" for a long time. Last time I heard it, uh, it was an echo. You know, I was learning English. I said "I love you," and it was like a small room. And there's no furniture in it, so I heard it back. This is the last time I heard the word "I love you." You know, I was surprised actually. I mean, how my voice is coming back? You should see uh, a way back. I mean, maybe. Yeah, so I used to go on Paltalk, you know, do a lot of work in Paltalk. It was the best program at that time. Uh, there was no live YouTube, etc. So you go to a Muslim chat rooms, all of them they use an echo software. You know what, you know, echo. So when you talk, so you go to a Muslim room, you, you, will, you will hear this Assalamu alaikum, alaikum, alaikum. Brothers and sisters, sisters, sisters. Today the prophet, 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 they love it, they love it, love it, love it. And they are like, they are crazy about echo, 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 echo. Christian prince, prince, prince is here, 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 here. We let us get him busted, 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 busted. And I say to him, are you speaking from the bathroom? Room, 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 room. They have a madness with it. They think they are like became something high by having the echo. They pay for the software or they hack them. Echo software. You know, let us say we love you. Okay. All right. Well, hmm. I hope the guy in the Gaza station tomorrow, I'm going to fill up my gas. He will say that to me. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> I say, I want to pay for my gas. He say, no, we love you. Uh, okay. Are you sure? Man, yeah, even their their uh, Islamic songs they have to come with echoes, you know. They have an echo problem. Assalamu alaikum. Doesn't matter who is in charge. Thank you, my friend. Um, uh, what is that? Jet jet tinder. What is that? Helicopter hammer sun or fire and what is that a cat donkey and a boy what is that i mean i never heard such a uh, such a buffet i never saw such a buffet for long you are proud of my my, my don't don't be proud of me my friend i'm no one proud 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 that you are a person who have knowledge proud that you uh, for me i i can be proud for being christian following christ uh, for sure we have many things we are not proud about it you know all of us we have our uh, sin, faults, so you whatever you name it, but there is one thing only you can be proud about. God, who gave you gifts, and those gifts you can use them for His glory. So one day you can be in His uh, guest house for eternity. Yeah. Can you tell the difference between Shia and Sunni and why they oppose each other? 
you know, the the beginning of Islam to be divided was since the time of since the day of Muhammad he died. Right away they start fighting, and the start it is about politics. Uh, those who support Ali, they want him to be the caliphate. And those who support Aisha, you know, they went and took her, the side of her father, and Uthman, you know, those they call Sunni. So the beginning it was just about who is the caliphate. And then the, 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 the difference between them became so huge. So the Shia, they have totally different stories, like Sahir Bukhari does not exist for them, you know. They have totally different sources, and their sources is beyond the stupidity. So they became two different religions actually. And the Shia they went so far in worshipping Muhammad and his family. Actually, they worship Ali and his family more than Muhammad. So they believe that Muhammad, uh, Muhammad and Ali and supposedly his daughter, they are from the lights of Allah. And they are not a human. If you go in the Quran, you will find the following. The Quran says that Muhammad is a Siraj and Muniran. Siraj is a lamp. The Shia they say Allah did not say that Muhammad is Siraj for nothing. Siraj is a lamp, and Allah is a lamp. Hmm? So Muhammad and Allah, both of them, they are made of light, and his family of Muhammad. Chapter thirty-three, verse number forty-six. See it. So for the Shia, they say the family of Muhammad and Ali, not only Muhammad and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein, those are made of light and they are not a human. And they used to be in the forehead of Allah as light or as stars. All right. Ali supposedly is the cousin of Muhammad. Yeah, Qathmu ibn Kilab, not Kalb, Kilab. Yeah, Kilab, correct. Um, actually, Muhammad, he was, uh, there is many proof that Muhammad, he is uh, made of light. Do you remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said that his mother told him that when she gave birth to him, a light came from her private part. And this light reached all the way the palaces of Damascus, which is obviously more powerful than nukes. Because if you have a nuke in, in Mecca, it doesn't, there is no way the light will go all the way to Damascus. This is like a thousand two hundred mile away or kilometer away. You know what I mean? So how the light will go all the way? So it must be a very powerful private part, his mother she had. Yeah, and nobody saw the light as usual. Nobody see the light. Anything Muhammad he say speak about? No, the same as the ninety nine fish. I did uh, get fish yesterday or today, two days ago. I told you, right? I got 99, 99 fish. You know, but I get tired, by the way, from the 99 fish. Why? Because I keep them alive and I'm trying to count them and they keep moving. I stay like, sit down, shut up. Like, let me count you. Don't move. And they keep moving, you know? And they are 99. But, but nobody believe me. But they believe in the stories of Muhammad. I don't know why. I mean, what's wrong with, the, with, my, with my story? <laughs> Man, I was really... You see, guys... I am in the beach and I don't want anyone to get close to me because each time people walk by, they ask me the question which I don't like them to ask me. How many fish you got? And I say, uh, um, um, nothing yet. <laughs> very embarrassing, very embarrassing. <laughs> man, man, man. Not even a fish, not even a sardine. You know, I say to myself, okay, I mean, the ocean have like millions of kilometers and there's billions of fish. Not even one came to me. I mean, come on, what, Jibreel? What happened? Anyway, I think I was wrong. Uh, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm like a new in this area, visiting this area. I do not know much about what they have in this. Uh, I mean, what they use for bait. So I have no idea. I'm trying to learn about it. Uh, but anyway, when I went there, the guys, they told me there's no fish today. So it wasn't only me. Nobody was getting fish. Yeah. But anyway, one of you asked me, uh, okay, what uh, if you get a fish, what you would do or something like that? I said, well, I will give them a change and I will ask them to go and bring me some shrimp or a, or, or a crab. You know, 
No, I will never fish in Sabbath. Never, never. I have my neighbor, he fish in Sabbath. You should know what happened to him. Did I tell you what happened to my neighbor? He's a Jew. He fish in Sabbath. Guess what happened to him? Are you catching the why things? I'm not sure what does that mean. Use life. Yeah, but there is no, there was nothing. You know, the beach was empty. You see, I'm not the only one. There's people who they live in this area for, uh, there is a guy, he's an old guy. He told me there's nothing today. Don't waste your time, you know, because those, they come in big schools, those fish. And like either two, there are too many or maybe there's none, you know. Yeah, no, they did not turn into monkey. No, no, no. Okay. There's a guy, he is a Jew. He went fishing on Saturday. Allah did not make him a monkey. But what happened, he had a fight with his wife and his mother-in-law. She hit him in his head with high heels. This is why it's very dangerous to fish on Saturday. <laughs> now this story can be more be, uh, accepted from the story of Muhammad that somebody fish in Saturday the whole town they did fishing in Saturday and Allah made them pigs and monkeys I mean how the Muslim believe in those stories hmm? how in the world they believe in those stories I have no idea right uh, uh, so what does Iran plan for now? I, I, you know, I think Iran now is going to go, uh, they will try to sneak into using uh, through Qatar. They will try to negotiate because simply they are going bankrupt. You know, this Trump, he did really harm them badly. And he broke their nose, he broke their toes. You know, they are out of money. And, uh, you know, for how long they can be like this? The, the, the country will collapse sooner or later. So Trump, he can wait. He can wait for long. They cannot. He's not the one whose economy is collapsing. His economy is doing great. He is not the one who they can put sanctions. He is the one who put in sanctions on everybody. You know? Yeah, maybe this is why they not say, inshallah. <laughs> yeah, Iran bankrupt. They have no money. Okay, what, what is the income of this country? Where is the income coming from? From the oil. And they put sanctions they cannot sell oil nobody buy oil the only oil they are selling is like uh, in the black market like through the borders of uh, turkey or russia but this will not make money so yes they are bankrupt all right this is why the iranian uh, uh just a few weeks ago they were they have almost revolution hundreds of thousands in the street why because they are hungry you see, many countries, if you have a dictator, people, they will not really go in the street until you make them really suffer from hunger. When hunger strike, that's it. No, no king can stay and no president can hold them. No matter. Uh, so a, f a few weeks ago and they start shooting them, they killed, they killed more than almost 2000 people in the street, you know, in those strikes. Uh, is it right that Allah and Muhammad hate and wish death to giraffe but love and praise cats and also cats as pet? Yeah, there's many, uh, too many stories. You know, I mean, it's endless stories. Uh, there is some stories even explain why the giraffe became a giraffe, which is... <laughs> I mean, Islamic books have the most funny, stupid stories for a movie. I wish I had money to make a comedy movie. <clears throat> that will be very good opportunity. Do we have any Abdul?
there is tons of stories and they are funny and stupid you know comedy what do you think about ukraine government will do with iran nothing you know ukraine is a poor country suffering they need the iranian they need them because you see the ukrainian they are <clears throat> Uh, Trump is giving them some like uh, say they need money so he's allowing them even to do some business with Iran so they will do nothing what they can do you know Ukraine now is a very very weak country sadly I feel sorry for them uh, you see printing money is not really a big deal you can print it but I don't think they can uh, because they don't even have the, the ability to print them all the Middle East nobody have they print their money in Switzerland or you know such like uh, but printing money is not really a big issue uh, uh, the thing is the the value of the money like in Turkey they keep printing 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 money and there is inflation and which is um, like your salary is like 50 60 whatever million whatever it is or you put in your pocket a million uh, lira, but then they don't buy you a shoe or a chicken. So printing money with no value is nothing but destruction. <clears throat> you have a plan to preach in to other countries, my friend. The internet is the way, the best way to 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 reach out to all people. Like now, I think you are from Indonesia, right? So you know here we go without going anywhere i'm speaking to all of you and we have without preparing 646 just we started you know uh, each time i do a seminar each time i do a seminar it costs a lot of money i have to pay for airline ticket uh, a hotel i travel and then you know they have to reserve a place uh, and air conditioning and whatever and people come you know the internet is easier i'm sitting here behind my computer talking to you wonderful All right one of my videos imagine for what copyright who is the one who filed for copyright if i am the one who owned the videos you know when the muslims they flag you when they flag you fight back you can appeal they say this is not a christian prince who is uh, flagging and this is a video belong to christian prince and you can you can give my channel name they can contact me they are evil you know they will try to take your videos down etc Christian Prince is a family home man. It's not. It's not about family home man. It's. It's about you know we have technology which is, like, look we have people now from around the earth now. There's people from Thailand, listen, Nepal, Indonesia, India, Europe, America, you know, uh, South America. I mean, you name it, Middle East. So, it's impossible to go to all those places. Now I am in those places right now. So it's an amazing opportunity. Here we go. We have somebody from Tokyo. How are you, my friend? Cloudy. Are you are you Japanese, Cloudy? Man, I went to Japan. You will not believe it. You should see what happened to me uh, when I arrived to Japan. I was like somebody coming from a village, literally. I went inside the bathroom in the airport before we get out. Uh, and I look at this bathroom like what is this this is a bathroom or this is like a hospital surgery uh, room electronic bombs you know light and it, you, you think you are an airplane or something this is just a bathroom and it was super clean oh man yeah actually I took a picture of it I have it in my computer you believe it this is how I was surprised. Actually, I was shocked about how. I mean, what kind of uh, what kind of a bathroom this one is? Like you sit in the toilet seat and there's bombs and there is water. How hot, how warm it is. I mean, this is a, this is. A, so I went inside the bathroom to do, <clears throat> you know, 
But I forget about the aha aha. Now I start taking pictures. إذا ترجمت كثير من فيديوهاتك حرام لم يبلغ عني ويضيع تبي ومسيح أنني سأترجم فيديو ناس. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, always when the Muslims they flag you, keep a backup of the videos, appeal to it, and open more than one channel. Don't open just one channel because they will flag you. They cannot debate us. They will, you know. Actually, I don't know. Let me. You, you want to see the picture I took for the bathroom? But I need to look for it. I have to dig for it. This is a. This is, was a while ago. Let me see if I can find it. I felt really like a guy, like a like a coming from little village in the Middle East, and I was surprised. Yeah, Japan is a, is a very. Yeah, I, I know. It's. I think it's going to be hard to find it now. Maybe later, later. <laughs> anyway, it's a bathroom. But the airport was very clean. But nobody speak English. Mm -hmm. Same as like if you go to Korea, nobody. You know, in Korea, actually, once we have a guide, he supposedly speak English. I have no idea. what I thought my English is bad. I have no idea what he says. So like he told us, like, you know, like, which mean you have to come back. But when we don't know, I mean, I don't know what he's saying. I asked the guy with me, do you understand what he said? He said, no. I said the other guy do you understand what he said he said no so what kind of a English guide he don't speak English I have no idea what he's talking and supposedly this guy is English talking person he is hired he get paid yeah and there's a lot of Japanese in Japan a lot of Korean in Korea you will not believe it I never been in uh, Indonesia. I wish one day I can go. I like to go actually. You know, I like to see the world, uh, especially when you are like physically fit. Because when you get older, you know what mo what most people do. Let's just change the sticks. It's stupid. I mean, why are we putting the sticks there? It's disgusting and stupid. Me. Let us put something nicer. All right. Uh, you know, people they start going and traveling when they are in old age. Supposedly they are retired, right? But then you go with your medicine, even you can, maybe you have your oxygen with you, you cannot move. I mean, it's too late now. So, I advise really people when you are young to go. Go and see. I mean, uh, you know, for sure you cannot go and see the whole world, but I mean, go and see, don't, uh, because you never know, I mean, tomorrow what to bring to you. Maybe today you can walk, maybe tomorrow you cannot, you know, things happen. So, uh, uh, I encourage people when they get opportunity to see the world, see it, because traveling can give you an experience, you know, can change you too. You change, you know, like you, because you, you know, you learn when you travel, especially if you are going by your own, so you earn experience. You learn about other cultures, you learn about other people, and you see firsthand. Japan will become Islamic country. Just watch. Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> My friend, did you see? Did you see Dubai celebrating Christmas? Did you see? You see? Did you see Saudi Arabia celebrating Christmas? Did you see that all your countries are having Christmas tree? Did you see Muhammad Salah, the guy who plays uh, soccer? He is taking picture with his wife and his babies in the front of the Christmas tree. Hmm. Okay. Christmas tree is coming, my friend. That's the fact. Islam does not exist even in Islamic countries. You know, I will type one word in the chat. I don't know if it's going to appear for you in Arabic. Does it appear in Arabic? Let me post it for you. Does it come to you in Arabic? Does it come in Arabic font? What I typed for you? Or it come like gibberish? 
all right I want you to copy this word and post it in YouTube <laughs> you know this is the Muslim countries I just this is the word put it in the search engine and you will find endless videos of Muslim women wearing burqa shaking their bum with no shame not only they are shaking their bum in a sexual way this is your Islamic countries where, where is your Islam but look they are conservative I mean they are dancing touching each other but they are wearing burqa brother wearing hijab they are wearing hijab where video mirror channel in Inst uh, telegram is your video no it's not mine somebody is doing that no problem I, I encourage people to do that you cannot copy paste just to freeze the text my friend freeze it the text the, the, the chat is running pull down the chat and that will freeze it and then hi highlight with your my mouse and copy no Malaya. Malaya, Malaya. they are very religious people you see they speak too much about being religious but nobody is lousy as they do nobody drink alcohol as they do nobody do hashish as they do go to Morocco go just go to Morocco and see the hashish Did you see what I what I I just type one word I did not even search for something bad by the way this is not even bad supposedly this is just a dance supposedly no. Muslims not allowed to do that really uh, I can show you your prophet doing that do you like to call me what about I show you your prophet shaking his ass hmm I think you are just a joker. Let's get out. I don't think even you are a Muslim. You're just trying to play games. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, the news was funny. And actually, I mean, what you can do. Uh, Iran, they wanted to show that they can, they can do something. They told the American, we are going to hit you. Please take away your soldiers. Uh, they send messages through the, uh, the Iraqi, the uh, Qatar, and Turkey. And the American, they took away their soldiers from the base. The Iraqi, the Iranian, they shot the base. And they announced to their people that they killed 80 American. I mean 80. You see, look, the Muslims don't know how to lie and they don't exaggerate. They don't say eight. It is 80. 80 not eight eighty hmm. so the mullah he will go on tv he says assalamu alaikum wa ala muhammad wa ali muhammad this is how the shia in iran they speak when they praise allah and muhammad it's very funny way yeah eighty and then we find out it's not even a chicken not even one chicken not even not not, not even a kfc died or fried in this attack you know there's a saudi prince he made he made fun of their attack so he said uh you know in like in the middle east like if we have like a wedding party they make a card supposedly and they send it around and like the opening like this uh, we would like to inform you that our uh, government of iran is going to hit the base of uh, assad at in iraq at that uh, at the day of etc at the time of etc we would like all of you cnn fox news all tv stations al arabia al jazeera please put your camera there so you can see and record it and don't forget to act as if you are surprised for what happened they told everybody everybody that's why Trump he was really grateful you know they killed nobody I mean they told them because they don't want to kill by the way they can they can hurt but then the consequence will be very bad so 
what they want to do they want to make like an attack but in the same time they don't want to attack so it go like it go in the front of uh, of their people they will say see we send the 21 missiles if Allah stands uh, for everything the Christians don't stand for does that mean Allah is our devil see Allah doesn't exist Allah is an old name for the old God which is exist before Islam before Muhammad Muhammad is not the one who created the name you know uh, Muhammad he's just a, a fraud and he needed a God so he chose Allah there's Allah and there's Akbar so he merged them together and he says they are one God Allah is the moon God Akbar is the sun God the Arab usually they hate the sun God because he killed their animals he dried their grass he make them out of water and he make them die from thirst so they like this the moon God because the moon God is nice friendly he never killed them he never make them suffer they are desert people this is why if you go in the Quran you will find that all the promises of Muhammad uh, in the Quran is about uh, you know shade uh, grape you know things the Arab don't have couches the Arab don't have couches because you, you, know, you see to make couch first they don't have the skills second they don't have wood it's a desert so couches and beds they don't have those things so Muhammad all his heaven is based on promises for the Bedouin Bedouin are very very lazy people so Muhammad uh, uh, he even promised them that the tree will come to you you don't go to the tree you know they are Bedouin the tree will come down to you and will give you the fruit like you just said where are you see here we go this is the Quran you see maybe the translation is funny but anyway it's close you see it can you please explain about a year of elephant story about the year of the elephant story you know for they, they claim that this is the, the elephant story happened before uh, not long before Muhammad birth but this is story is a false story and it's not exist first of all how in the world who in the world can believe that is elephant army is coming to Mecca Mecca is a desert an elephant need at least 600 gallon of water just to drink not to mention that the elephant he need to cool himself he need to cool down his body you know elephant they don't sweat oh there's no screen sorry it's my fault forgive me forgive me please la 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 la, la. forgive me and the shades of the garden will come low over them <laughs> And the bunches of bunches of branches of a fruit will come to the news. You don't go to the tree, a tree will come to you. No. Thank you, Michael. I'm fine. Thank you, my friend. Is the screen coming now? Don't tell me you don't see the screen. The 16 privilege of Muhammad where he can have any women and he claimed Al Qurtubi later reacted and this is said <laughs> okay first of all it's not Al Qurtubi who said that Al Qurtubi is reporting what Ibn al Arabi said so this guy is a donkey <clears throat> Al Qurtubi is agreeing with him uh, President Trump is going uh, to put some sanctions on Iran yeah that's a smart thing very good I, I hope he will really squeeze them bad I wish I am a president just for a month man honestly I will make those mullahs the joke of everybody in the world but anyway Trump is a business man he knew what he's doing you see this is the good thing about having an old an older man he's like 70 when you are younger your blood is hot and you want to go for war or fight and blah you know so always good to have a you know an, an old man 
in, in a charge of such a position because they don't go and jump into uh, war and crazy stuff where the movement of Salat is coming from most of it is 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 copied from the Sabia if you go uh, let me see if I can find you a video there is a video about a Sabia it's about how they pray how to do evolution you, you will see that Muhammad and actually even Muhammad was called Sabian you know the Sabian that's why he promised them to go to heaven uh, let me see if I can find you the video I cannot play it here so they don't, they don't uh, uh, claim copyright over it you know um, let us see which one there is too many videos Mm, there is there is a video which is good to see. Uh, let us see this one. I can't show you on the screen for now because I don't want to you know get hit or copyright and stuff. Uh, I'm looking for the video where they teach you how to do evolution. Let us see this one here. Okay, here we go. Watch this guy and tell me, isn't it this is what Muhammad did? And this is how the Muslims they do? Here we go, I will pause the video for you. No problem, you can leave my channel so you can watch or open in two channels. Here we go. This is where Muhammad he copy all the movement he got. You know? This is called Al Baracha wa Rashama. The wudu, the evolution, they call it Baracha and Rashama. The Sabians, they have uh, they have a, a book, holy books, it's called Kenza Rabba. Kenza Rabba, there's Kenza Rabba left and Kenza Rabba right. Which means there's a book you read it from the right and there's a book you read it from the left. So it's one book, but it's a split two pieces, let us say. So you will see here this guy. Is doing evolution and this is where Muhammad what he do exactly is just copy them you know it's just nothing but a thief there's nothing but a thief yeah Um, everything Muhammad here is a theft from somebody. Everything. Uh, my friend, Mr. Assassin, uh, we want the Russian to be successful and to win, but uh, at the end of the day, America is America, and America is winning everywhere. You see, I don't know who you are, but I don't like silly talk. America is the one putting sanctions on countries like Russia and China. And this is telling you who is the giant and who is the winner. Because if you can put sanctions on, on such big, huge, powerful countries, so how powerful you are. Russia cannot put sanctions in USA, neither China. Sanction mean that you force the whole world to obey the sanctions including Germany, Japan, etc. That is how you measure the power of any nation. So uh, uh, for me, I actually, I love Russian people. I love Russia. I really respect Putin. He, he, he fixed a lot of problems in Russia and he made his country powerful. I want all the Christian countries to be successful and powerful. And actually, we want even the Muslims to have a better life. However, if you want to measure America is bankrupt, uh, okay, 
Well, as I know, in every house of America, there's two cars, three cars. So if this is what bankruptcy is, good for us. <laughs> America is bankrupt. Do you know that China, you see, America, they borrow money from China. But do you know that China have to pay America five times more than the money which USA borrow from China? Go read. People, people are ignorant. The, the Chinese government before the revolution they borrow a lot of money from USA so now what the what the USA is doing they are asking for the money back and the Chinese they cannot afford to pay it and in the worst scenario they will say to them okay the money we borrow from you forget about it then China borrow a lot of money from USA USA have a lot of resource have oil have gas I mean it's a it's a continent by itself you know, we have everything. Call him for what? Idiot? I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> I know there's many people they hate America, you know. No, my friend, China GDP is not, what, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. Uh, uh, you know, you, you see, uh, uh, I don't know how you study the numbers. First of all, GDP uh, by a communist is not a GDP because all their numbers is made up. Even their currency is made up. You see the Chinese, even they change the value of their currency just to cause America and other countries to lose and they get and they get more people buying from there. They, they play with their currency and they make it lower in purpose just to sell out. So China the GDP they have is not real and there's nothing, no number they have is real. This is a communist. It's a dictatorship. Everything is controlled. Have you been in China? Everything is under watch. You walk in the street, everybody's watching you. There's no Google. There's no email. There's nothing, nothing. nothing. Even, even there's no Viber. There's no WhatsApp. The only one is allowed is WeChat. Why? Because they don't allow any information about the real China to get out. They welcome information to get in under the control of the government, which means even if you send an email to China, the Chinese police will read it first before even you open it. This is why they don't allow Google because they have no authority over it. So you have to use their own system so they can read your email. So Chinese numbers, all of it is fake, including even when they, when they make money or when they lose or even when they have a casualty or it is it's a communist country you can you cannot trust what they say i've been in china i spoke to many chinese they told me all their stories it's disgusting very disgusting and you know let us say for the sake of argument saying that the gb of a country is high or maybe higher than usa so where is the money where, where is the money i saw in china people eating rats the majority of the Chinese are extremely poor. Not only poor, they are extremely, extremely poor. So you want to tell me that we have a GDP, but you don't have your, your, your citizens are, are, are eating rats? Literally, I'm not making things up. They eat literally rats. Right. Uh... Okay, you know what happened in, uh, in China since you visited a month ago. It's not about how, how long you visited the, the country. It's about you talk to who because people don't trust to talk. You see, in China, the problem is even if they are living in hell, they don't dare to talk. You know what I mean? Focus on the topic, which is Islam. You know, I, I focus on any topic I wish, Mr. RC. You don't like it, you can leave, my friend. In China, who dare to complain? Like for me, because I'm Christian, they knew I'm coming in. A, so they, 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 they are not worried for me. But nobody dare to complain. You ask anyone, you say, everything is perfect. Everything is beautiful. Everything is good. It's the same as North Korea. Do you, do you think there's one citizen in North Korea who they are suffering from hunger would dare to, uh, uh, to complain? They don't dare. Right? Do we have a Muslim here? 
Und ihr müsst I do not need to be a president, my friend. Here we go. We are changing the world without being president. Millions of people watch our videos and we have a huge impact. People around the earth. If you go right now and see the videos, which is watched by the Indonesian, you will see a video just posted a few days ago and have like 100,000, 200,000. I mean, scary numbers. You know? We have a guy, his name is Arwan. How are you, Arwan? What Arwan is saying? Somebody tell me what Arwan is saying. Is Arwan is a happy person or is he unhappy? Arwan, you know, I feel like I want to convert to Islam, my friend. I don't know, I have a feeling I want to convert to Islam. And I have my reasons. You know? You see, I hate Shaitan. And I want to make him fart. I will convert to Islam and I will say, Allahu Akbar, and then Shaitan he fart. What do you think, my friend? Isn't it this is a good reason to believe that Muhammad is a prophet? What do you think? How the prophet Muhammad, if he is not a prophet, how in the world he knew this knowledge about farting? I mean, you man, your your prophet is really very much specialized. Like there's a plumber, uh, there's a guy who installed for you like electricity. There's a guy who fixed mechanic or car or airplane. Muhammad is a special his specialty is farting. Are you there, Erwan? Are you there? I would like you just to tell me how Muhammad he knew this information about farting. Do you think Allah told him about farting and stuff? Like so, if we open now the messages Muhammad he received from Allah, we will not, we will find the message uh, uh, letter says the title in the top. Farting subject. Are you there? Or what about the had where your prophet is teaching you how to fart in the mosque? So if you fart and you don't hear it and you don't smell it, you stay, brother. What about the hadith your prophet he said that shaitan he could take care of from your anus? Are you there, Erwan? Uh, how God can die? Who is the who is the stupid? He said to you, okay, guys, just to show you how stupid when a Muslim he uh, make a logic his own. I will use his logic. How God can die? Wonderful. Arwan he just proved to us that Jesus is God. Do you know why? Because according to Islam, Jesus never die. So according to you, then Jesus must be God, because he never die in Islam. Secondly. In Christianity, God never die. What die is the flesh. This is the flesh he is born with. But God is exist before he came to this earth. So you are stupid. In either way, you just hit yourself in the nose or the toes or in your... <coughs> so according to your logic now, Jesus must be God for in Islam he never die. This is number one. And that means your prophet and you and whoever follow Islam is a stupid. Because if the reason not to believe that Jesus is God because he died, within Islam he did not die. In Christianity, God never died. No Christian believed that God died. Okay, God is always alive. That's why Jesus says, I will never leave you. I will never let you be alone. Every two mention my name, I will be with you. Which means he will be the third between us. So they, they killed the flesh, but God is a spirit in the same time. He is alive. See, we believe God is a spirit. You must we don't have a spirit God. He is a physical being. He have a shin. He have a hand. So if your God is dead, if your God, he have no spirit. So he's dead anyway. You know, when a human being, he died, even a human being. Then we say resurrection. What resurrection mean? We reunite or re re reunite together the body with the spirit. Your God have a body, have no spirit. So he's dead already. So this is the logic of the stupid, you know, copy-paste religion. Copy-paste. Nobody want to use his ass, I mean his head, sorry. Because this is where their, their brain is, in that location. Brother, are you there, Radwan? How God he die? He didn't die. Who told you he died, you idiot? <laughs> it's your God who's dead. 
and Jesus in Christianity, he is alive. He never died. That's mean he is God. Stupidity. Can you tell us then? I will go. I will ask you the same question now. How Jesus? He is not God, but yet he not. He don't die. I mean, this this person is alive since how many thousand years? Everybody die. Even the Quran says, "Wa Muhammadun illa Rasulun qad khalat min qabluhu Rasul." Muhammad is nothing but an. <coughs> And all the messengers before him, they die. All of them. Do you have an answer? No answer. Stupidity. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. By the way, if you read that verse where it says that Muhammad is just a messenger, all messengers before him die, the Muslim, they translate falsely the translation. It says it clearly, all messengers before him die. Hmm? Here we go. Chapter 3, verse number 144. Muhammad is no more than a messenger. It doesn't say many messengers. That's a lie. It says the messengers before, all the messengers before him, they pass away. You see it? All of them. So how you say all of them they die and Jesus did not die? That's a contradiction in the Quran. Islam is a dead religion, my friend. And the, the proof of that, nobody dare to call me. Nobody. Who, who dare to debate me? What is your mullahs? After I go to sleep, they make videos to refute me. <laughs> Unbelievable how brave they are. Right? Potatoes. Potatoes like their prophet. No, my friend, he understand, he understand. But he played, you know, it's it's good to play donkey sometime. This is what they do. They understand very well. This this is a nation. They play dumb when they, you know, because this is the only way to get away from things. You know, like Mimi Hijab. Yeah, suckle me. Suckle me. I was reading your stupid words, you idiot. He changed the topic right away. They played dumb. Like he heard nothing. That's what they do. Even the chapter of Al-Fatiha, just to show you how stupid this Quran, this Islam is. Do you know that the chapter of Al-Fatiha, which the Muslim, they recite five times a day. Muhammad, he received it during the time he was doing poo-poo. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet like this? Poo poo. At least, like, get it when you are doing shower or wiping it, but not doing it. Like, hello? I mean, seriously, this is too much. This is too much. Very much, brother. This is too much. Let me open for you the interpretation so they will not say uh, he's making things up. Because you know them. You know, you show it to them and with their own eyes, they say this is not true. He's a liar. All right. Look with me. This is the chapter of Al-Fatiha. This is the book of Asbab al-Nuzul, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Website of who? The Kingdom of Jordan, official government website, owned by the king himself, which is not a king. He's an idiot. Each time Muhammad, he go outside to do poo-poo. Look here, they say he went out. They don't want to say, Tabarraza, Baraza, Tabarraza. He do poo-poo. <coughs> and Muhammad squeezed it more. <coughs> and then Jibreel come out. And Jibreel, he call him, Oh, Muhammad. And then Muhammad, what he do? He lift up his panty and he start running. Do you see it? He flee. He what? He flee. Each time he go out to do poo-poo, Jibreel, he come to him. Whenever he go out to do poo-poo, he used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And then whenever he hear this, he used to flee. <laughs> what? what is that? Do you see it? And why is he fleeing, by the way? The guy already, he been squeezed by the angel. So why is he fleeing? 
Did the angel change his voice? Maybe the angel was speaking like a Jew, Jack Shalom. Habibi Muhammad. Habibi Muhammad, Habibi. Habibi, give me the money and I will put it for you in the bank, Muhammad. And Muhammad, he flee. You will refute me? All of you, you refute me, sure. I'm refuted already, before you do it. <clears throat> Can we make an Arabic lesson? I'm ready to pay much as, as need. Uh, my friend, Harm, Harm Boss, I have my videos in the Arabian and um, Arab for Christ. It's for free. You do not need to pay me anything. Follow the steps of the videos. Start from video number one, two, three, four, and you will learn. I mean, this is the Arabic class what I will give you. It's recorded, it's for free. Why do you want to pay me? Yeah. Yeah. Hussein. Hussein is dead, man. My friend, Labaika Ya Hussein when he is dead. What about Labaika when he was alive? When he need you, you you bunch of cowards, you like you know, you run away. And he is dead. He been uh, they made him shish kebab, hummus. Where was Allah? You know, those are the light of Allah. Yeah, the other channel is called Arab for Christ, and I have Arabic lessons there for free. Just follow the steps, you know, and you will learn. And I, I make it very easy actually for people to learn. And it's for free. You see, you do not need to pay me. Thank you very much for offering me. All of us, we need money, but why you want to pay me? I mean, I did it for free for everybody. I can ask God Zach and Nike now, because Zach and Nike, you know, last time I called him, I called the Trump, he was washing dishes in the White House. Watch the previous video, he's busy. <clears throat> uh, you know, to write a book about uh, stupid stories in the Quran, <clears throat> see the problem writing is not easy especially in a person who is English is not his first language if I'm writing in Arabic that would be very easy uh, this is why really I'm not making too many books because it's uh, it's too much headache translating because you have to translate everything all the translation we have in front of us is fake so you have to like to start almost from zero you know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh... No, watch my previous video. You will see Zachary Nike. He's washing dishes. All right. So anyway, you know, the, uh, our topic today, it was about the comedy show made by Iran. They inform USA before the attack, and then it turned to be potato, tomato, you know. They informed them before the attack. He responded, challenging me to debate. So what he's waiting for? Okay, give me his Skype. I will call him right now. This guy, you call him for it. He don't dare even to talk to me. You see, they challenge to debate me. Okay, and when when we do that, just call me. Give me your Skype. I will call you. <laughs> I mean, look at this drama. I challenge you. You challenge me. I challenge you. I challenge you. You could just call me. Why you don't call? Right? There are a bunch of kids. The one who want to really debate, he just do it. He do, he do, he do, he take me into surprise. Isn't it war about surprise? Don't do like the Iranian. They send the message to the American says we will we will hit at this time, at this hour, and this day. Please empty this place. Don't do that. It's not good for you. Take me into surprise and get me busted. Cowards. Right? <clears throat> they are literally cowards. They want to act like they are braves. 
but they are not. Yeah. You know, um, uh, this Mimi Hijab, he promised the Muslim to debate me. W when the debate would happen? We waited for 40 minutes and then we call him, he start playing videos. Hang up on him, mute him. And he starts calling me name, bastard. You are the bastard. Because a person who respects his mother, she would not say that to, to me. Uh, suckle me. He says, suckle him, suckle him. I'm reading your prophet, you idiot. It was your sister who said that Jesus, he did something to Mary. Filthy, cut edit videos, coward. So they don't dare to debate me. They start putting videos together, doing editing because they are cowards. They are very much intimidated by Christian Prince. Why they don't dare to do the same they did with David Wood, the same they did with the apostate the prophet, even they tried to humiliate the, the poor guy. Why you don't debate me like everybody? They don't dare. They don't dare. All of you. Cowards. And that's why we laugh at you. No. <clears throat> Quran 65.5 first of all it's not 65.5 either Nas uh, uh, how, how old are you how old are you you know obviously you are a kid obviously right because it's not number five it's number four so you are coming here to prove us wrong and then you say 65 5 is not about kids you idiot let your dad talk to me i mean even you can't even quote the numbers of the quran potatoes and if you say this is not about marrying kids i can show you the interpretation do you like me to show you the interpretation Interpretation made by Muslims, brother. Your scholars, not us. Potatoes. Hmm. <clears throat> but I, I'm not going to call him Karen. He's just a kid. He cannot even quote the number correctly. And here we go. You know, this is this is their Islamic website. And this is a chapter 65. Let us put it in the screen. Everybody, why you want to even talk about it? You know, this is your Muslim books. This is what they teach you in Islamic schools. Those are the ones who explain the Quran to the potatoes. Here we go. And this is, we start from Ajala Lane. Bingo. Maybe maybe at Jalalain he worked for a Christian prince. <laughs> yeah, even their website doesn't work. By the way, look, you hit a display because this is owned by the king of Jordan, and the Jordan is bankrupt country. Allah is not sending him money. He is he is he is a descendant from the prophet supposedly, but yet he have, he have no money. Uh. Uh, this Abdullah is, is a joker. He's a, he's a kid. I went to chapter. Oh, by mistake. Okay. But still, it's not open anyway. You see, the page is not opening. It's not opening. See, I click, I click. It doesn't work. I think he is hosting. He's hosting his website for free, somewhere. But anyway, you can do that. You can open the page later from your side. This is at tafsir.com, owned by the government of Jordan. And the reason I'm using it because it's official. And so at the same time, they have some translation like uh, Ajala Lane. Uh, you can open it, choose number 65, verse number 4, and see. They say it's clearly about divorcing children. You know? Until now, the website is not open. You believe it? You have to keep trying. Here we go, finally. Yeah. 
Where is the idiot who says this? Uh, they are not kids. Are you there, potato? Here we go. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Finally, the website opened. They are, they did not have their menstruated yet because they are in young age. Do you see it? Where is the potato? Potato, 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 potato. This is not about the kids. The kids. And you are the very the kids. You are a kid. You see, even when they try to refute us, they, they, they are stupid. They don't even know what they are saying. I mean, it's in front of you. This is your Islamic website. This is your scholars. This is how you understand it. This is Islam. This is not a Christian prince. This is not a Jew. This is not a Hindu. Hmm? And we can show you as many tafsir as you want. All of them, they agree. Tafsir al Mikbasi bi Ibn Abbas, brother. Man, I'm getting lucky. The website is working now. It says too young because what they are divorcing them and they are too not only young they are too young and this is a divorce he's teaching them about divorcing children who they are too young not only young are you there Abdul where is the Abdul potato 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 get me get me a scholar I don't want to, I don't want to talk to kids Get me real, you know, all those people, they make videos, they are a bunch of potatoes. They have no idea what Islam is about. They, they make fun. Actually, this guy is, what's his name? Fifi Faridu, Farudu. Go and watch the video he made for the, I made a video. He was making fun of the apostate prophet. Watch the video I made for him and laugh at this guy humiliating his prophet, the same as Mimi Hijab. Okay, Nas, did you see it, my friend? You said you are here. Does it say there because they are too young? What do young mean? I want you with your knowledge to explain to me what too young mean. They don't have their menstruation because they are too young. What does that mean? And this is your prophet cousin saying that. Mr. Too Young. Potatoes. Anyway, guys, I got uh, to go. We have enough for today. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, so uh, I, I will try to be here tomorrow too. And uh, you see, I'm trying to like switch the time so people from different relegation, different countries, they can join us. And I hope people are enjoying our videos and learning from them. <clears throat> Yeah, we know light, we know. I mean, it's. I mean, you see, I'm actually, I am limited when I try to prove Islam in English because I just go here in Arabic and you will see all the interpretation. But I am limited here. This website have only the Jalalain, look, uh, Jalalain, Ibn Abbas, and Asbab al-Nuzul. The rest that don't even work. If I go in the Arabic page, all the tafsir, I mean, there is hundreds of them. We can get them busted a lot easier. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Uh, I'm really pleased to uh, to uh, to uh, to be with you, all of you. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, the Iranian they seek revenge, and they are happy now because the revenge is done. They hit nobody. I mean, it's not their fault. You know, they don't. It's not their fault. They send the message to Trump, says to him, "Take your soldiers because we want to hit this place." Trump, he moved them. It's not their fault. I mean, it's the fault of Trump. Why you move them? You should not move them. So at the end of the day, the Iranian regime did revenge by killing nobody. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> and they are celebrating victory there too. <laughs> Their biggest general became shish kebab and they killed not even a chicken in revenge. And they told, not only that, they told their, their, their Hezbollah and they told those puppies, don't attack the American. Go and see the news. <laughs> so where is the revenge? Oh, Erivo, what a, what a disaster cult. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Uh, Christ is Lord and Islam is funny, stupid, made by a stupid man or a stupid people who want to believe in stupid stories. And we are not stupid and we are better than this there's no God will promise you women who have a big boobs that is not God 
that's not even a pimp you know this is a stupid promise there's no way God he will promise you a woman her bum is one mile one mile I mean come on I like them two miles one mile only <laughs> why you are cheap why Allah is so cheap one mile but okay before I go just a question think about it okay your wife her butt is one mile uh, what about her <coughs> I mean what a stupid cult what a disaster thank you guys may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false made by a false man for stupid ones to believe in those stories take care